getting the hang of it hey guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm going to be learning how to knit so this should be interesting i watched a few videos and i attempted it once and the thing with learning something new especially learning how to knit you got to have patience because yeah you just got to have patience are you going to get frustrated so easily and so fast so I'm gonna be trying it again, and I'm just gonna be learning the basic stitches, like casting on, and just getting the the movements down. So I already started to cast on, and I don't know why I was so intimidated by knitting, maybe because I heard a lot of people saying how hard it was, but so far casting on is not as bad as I thought. And I think that's because I do crochet, so that part is not difficult for me. But I actually got this set off of Amazon. My sister got it for me for Christmas. But I got the bamboo the bamboo sticks because, I don't know, I think it looks better. But this is what I got. I'm gonna link it down in my storefront if you guys wanna purchase it too. But so far I like it. And I like the, the sounds it makes too. Very satisfying. I don't know how much I should cast on. Not that much, cause I'm just practicing. So from the video I watched, after you cast on, you rotate it and then you get your other needle. Make sure it's pulled up. Then I probably should make, I wanna make a washcloth to start off. Cause I don't wanna do a big project. I need to get the hang of it. And this is the part that trips me up the most. And I have a hard time like keeping the the needles together. Yeah, this part and another thing I don't like, this is like my this is my third yarn that I've tried and every single yarn that I cast on it splits when I try to put it underneath. Maybe because I'm putting it on, I'm casting on too tight. But if I remember correctly, it's supposed to make an X and then put this in between. And then Oh yeah, drop that in between, and then you go back underneath it. I do feel like I'm doing it too tight. Or maybe I should pull it forward more. See, but when I pull it forward, I don't want these to slide off. And then now, I, this one just messed up, so. I'm gonna come back and try to do a few, and I'm gonna update y'all. I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. And fun fact, I actually taught myself how to crochet in less than a week. So I'm a fast learner also, but I think I'm finally, it's a little slow because I'm still learning, but I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. So I did three, I don't even know the terminology, but I did three of them, three stitches. And I know knitting is a, a slow process, but dang it, I always forget which way to put my needle. But yeah, knitting is a slow process and I'm pretty sure, well, I already know, I'm making it go two times slower, but that's okay. I'm not gonna be a pro in the beginning. See, I don't know why. Like, it shouldn't be that hard to get this off. That's what I don't understand. Pretty sure it's like this. And then this yarn splits, so that makes it worse. 
So I might not be able to make a washcloth. I'm just practicing, to be honest. Dang, this is like really, this is bad. But that kind of makes sense though, because I tend to crochet tighter. So maybe I just casted it on too tight. All right, so I got it up underneath. And then this is the part that kind of trips me out. Being able to hold both needles without anything sliding. Put that under there. And then scoop this off. Like, like that. Oh, I think I did something wrong. Wait, did I do that right? No, I did it right. Ooh, I'm knitting. This is cool. I wouldn't say crochet was getting boring, but I get bored easily and I like to switch stuff up sometimes. Not even sometimes, all the time. And yeah, I'm the type of person that gets a new hobby every three to six months because I get bored. But I think knitting will make my crochet work more interesting because now I can combine the two. But yeah, I'm doing this super slow. Oh, okay. I'm doing this extremely slow. And I know there's different stitches. I think the pearl stitch, cable knit stitch. Because I was already watching videos before I actually bought the, the, the needles. I think I did something wrong on that one. See, yeah, I got a lot to learn. Cause if I did, if I mess this one up, I don't think I can just take it off and redo it. We probably can, but I don't know how to do it. So I'm just gonna keep going. But I'm pretty sure I went this way instead of that way. But if you knit, can you leave some tips and tricks down in the comments? Cause I need some help. But I'm sure the more I practice, it'll get easier. And I might end up switching the yarn again. Cause I really think the yarn plays a part too on why it's like more complicated than what it really is. Yeah, this is bad. Should I start over? Probably should start over. So I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of it. But I'm still a little slow. But it's no rush. So that. And then this. I can't wait till it feels natural. Because right now it just feels so weird. that and then I pull this yeah mm, do that three more left on here I think before when I was messing up I was going in from this way instead of under here okay I don't know if y'all can see, but I switched the yarn and this yarn isn't splitting at all compared to like the other three brands that I was using. Oop. Okay. I got one more left. <gasps> no! What the heck? What am I supposed to do now? Oh, so this was a slip knot that fell off. So I think I'll, I just have to make another slip knot and then put it back on this hook. 
and then pull it maybe yeah I'm just gonna leave it at that let's see what I need to do next I cannot figure why this keeps happening to me. When I tell you I did this casting on and then the first row like three or four times, like I literally had to take a break because I kept, like I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Dang, did I mess up? All right, I'm just gonna leave it like this. To be honest, I'm gonna take that slip knot out. All right, so this is what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna see what I need to do next, but I'm just gonna keep practicing. All right, so apparently it's the same stitch or the same um, movement. I don't even know if that's what you call it, but it's the same, you know, the same thing I was doing for the first the first row and you're just going to keep repeating the same thing but since i messed up with the slip knot i don't know what i did wrong so i'm just going to start over and we'll be back well i'll be back when i have a few rows done hopefully so i ended up switching my needle size so this is a 8.0 millimeter before i was using a 5.0 and i think these were a little bit easier i'm not sure what size I was supposed to use for this yarn that I was using, but I did end up switching the yarn again because I kept having problems where it was splitting. So this one wasn't as bad, but I'm kind of sad because I wasn't able to get, like I wasn't able to get past the first row because I don't know what happened. Well, I do know what happened, but I wasn't able to figure out why it was happening. I wish I can show you, but um, basically, basically I cast it on and when I was going to do the first row, I would get a long piece of yarn in the middle. So by the time I get to the last stitch, something was off. So I gotta go try and figure out what happened cause I don't know, I'm doing something wrong. So I just gotta practice. Unfortunately, I don't have like a finished product or anything, but let me know if you guys want me to make this into a series because yeah, I want to update you guys on my progress. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to leave me some tips down below, and I'll see you in the next video.